ماشومان او ښځینه په یو کوټه کې واچوئ او خپله د هغوی سره همکاري کوئ Dawn of another day in the Afghan counterinsurgency. Loudspeakers inform the villagers that their homes are about to be searched. We are here to help, says the message, as the Marines of Gulf Company set out to hunt down a bomb maker. In the two months since they've been here, over 10% of their 180-man unit has been injured in roadside bomb attacks. The farmers here seem oblivious. We don't really understand why they're here, but now that they are here, they tell us they want to help build. We really don't have a say. Within minutes, this bomb technician's metal detector goes off. I got rubber. What is that? Metal. A passerby is directed to help. Somebody's treasure. But the discovery of this five kilo bag of liquid opium is a letdown. It's liquid, it looks like. Don't, don't cut it. Oh, this is liquid opium? Yeah. Let me see. Over 40% of the world's opium supply is grown on the farms of Helmand. And as the homeowner explains, it's as good as hard cash. His uh, son want to get married, but uh, he has no money, he has no husband. <laughs> They collect this one, save it, to sell it, to do his son's wedding party. As the Marines move along to the next house, a different problem awaits. It's a wedding. The village elder makes an appeal. Scores of women are gathered inside for a wedding. Outside, female Marines stand ready to pat them down. But in spite of his eager troops, the lieutenant makes a different call. Uh, we said it'd probably be best for you know our relationship with these people to not go ahead and search their compound and just leave them be celebrating and come back another day. At another home, the Marines and Afghan soldiers think they've finally found something. They enter this concealed room, but emerge with only a shotgun that has probably not been fired since the Soviets were last in town. Outside, the battalion commander checks in with the people. We can do this entire operation without firing a shot. That is, a, that is one of the metrics of success. The, the entire intent of this is to own a piece of road uh, that the Taliban thinks he owns. Uh, he's, he's pretty decent at identifying dead space, the areas that we can't see, and then going back to those points uh, that he's been successful at before. Several kilometers of farmland will be cleared over the course of three days. Movement through the village is extremely difficult for these Marines. It's rained recently, and with every step, including all the weight they're carrying, their bodies just sink into the mud. There's a dilemma also for these Marines. If they go along the routes that have already been plowed, those are the areas where the Taliban is most likely to plant an improvised explosive device. Therefore, they're forced to cut through the fields at risk of angering the local population for stepping on their crops. The Marines would rather not return to their compound each night. They plan to add another patrol base here in Massoud to stay closer to the people. Without holding the land they clear, they know the war will continue in the Taliban's favor. Clayton Swisher, Al Jazeera, Helmand Province, Afghanistan.